Uh, hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Hello. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Full screen. That's fine. Um, so we, you, I mean, um, we made very short work of Golgotha. It's kind of incredible. Yeah, Golgotha was a chump. Chump, Gotha. Goal jump in a river, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, let's uh, let's progress. There's gonna be reading today. I I will I insist. All right. I I genuinely like the story in in Cud, and though I do, um, you know, uh, I guess like I don't know how to put it. I'm open to all ways of enjoying cud but i think at a certain point the the real reward is finding out like what happens next what are you doing do you even remember why i'm not this isn't an accusation but do you remember why you went to golgotha in the first place to prove myself to the gate that's right Ex that's exactly right but why are you trying to prove yourself to the gate i want in so um, and I, I, I'm going to offer these reminders for people at home as well, because I, I often forgot, you know, like you die so many times in CUD and, and it, it takes so long to actually progress, um, that I actually kind of tend to forget, like, what am I even trying to do in this game? But, um, we came to Argive who was trying to, um, receive a signal. He was receiving a signal from the Spire. Uh, he may not have known it, but uh, he did know that there was a signal happening. And um, he couldn't decipher it, he couldn't decode it, and so he sent you with a disc to Gritgate, um, to the Barathromites, so, because they have a, a bit more going on, technologically speaking, uh, and they might be able to de decode it. You had to prove yourself to them because they are a fairly private bunch, for good reason, um, and now we are here. So why don't you go ahead and talk to your communication panel there. Have you completed the Have task? you completed the task? Yes. Uh -huh. The slot opens from the center of the door. A bright red light shines through. Several minutes pass. You may enter. Simply walk through the forest here, make your first two lefts, and speak to Stuart Otho in his office. Dot, dot, dot. Nice. Better not be a prank. No pranks here. Welcome to Gritgate. First time. That's uh, locks and wires. They're they're very technologically advanced. I mean, they they uh, they're tinkerers. Almost all of them. Uh, a lot of them have interesting tech and uh, gadgets and trinkets and uh, even uh, even their cooking is advanced. They have interesting recipes. They have um, you know tons of stuff going on. Greek gate. The first time you make it into Greek gate, it's it's like a it's real magic. You know. I love this place. We'll be spending a lot of time here um, over the course of many adventures. I think you can just take all that stuff. I don't think that they will be upset with that. And you might notice they even have a little farm. You just took their yuck wheat and uh, they had some it's star apples. Stuff, yeah. You harvested it. They're cool with that. You're part of them now. And in fact, they have their own becoming nook with a... Uh, with, uh, Cybernetic, and they are actually cool with you taking that as well. Now you're not uh, you're not privy to all of Gritgate's secrets just yet. Um, they have quite a lot going on that they're not willing to share just yet. But um, still, we get access to quite a lot, and it's it's a good it's a good time. Oh, wow. I, for I always forget to check those chests. No, yeah, that's... Wow! Oh, my God. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I should do that in my own series, actually. <laughs> mm. There's the... Um... The Otho was who we were looking for. Yeah. Hello. 
Welcome to Gritgate. I am Otho, Baratham's steward. I apologize for the men of our introduction, but we must take precautions. That is a very unforgiving place. I am pleased to see that you return with the wager, though you still know little of the dangers you bear. Take this firearm as your reward. It bears the mark of our finest gunsmith. Barafusil. We are ready to discuss the signal. So, um... Yeah. I was hoping that we would be able to um, equip ourselves with that skill soft before this, because th we would be able to make a choice here if you were able to check out pistols. Um, you, the Masterwork Scoped Carbine is legitimately probably better than the Electro Bow. It's a really, really good weapon, and it is 9 pen. It's, um, it's, it, and it is a rifle. So you're, they're basically offering you a choice between the two ranged weapon skill trees. Um, since we don't have pistols yet, we may as well take the scoped carbine. But um, I, I would, I would uh, respect your decision. It's all good now. It wouldn't make much sense to take a pistol when we are using rifles pretty consistently. Um, yeah, and we're gonna want to talk to him again to progress. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's check out their rep. Dislike by Svardim is a little bit of a bummer, but we can we can um, afford the reputation with them. Um... Do I want to do a ritual with them or just talk talk business? We can make a ritual with them, yeah. Barathermite uh, reputation is actually pretty valuable for a few reasons. I mean, uh, there's a good reason right there is we can learn to uh, craft the item mod sturdy for relatively cheap cost. Um, sturdy just, I think it makes it harder for items to break. Oh yeah, I'll teach you airfoil. Um, I like airfoil, but it's a pain in the ass. Uh, it basically anything that you can throw, you can modify with airfoil, and it makes it so you can throw it farther. Which I know th that sounds exciting. It means you can throw grenades farther, but it means modifying every single grenade with airfoil, and I'm just not mm. a fan. We well, definitely want to share our secrets with him. That's just a free reputation. Any of these are fine. You can do it again. <clears throat> do these... Okay. You can do it exactly twice, I think. Yeah. So anytime you make friends with someone, you can offer them secrets that they are interested in. Uh, Barathermites are tend to be interested in almost any secret, uh, but they do like ruins because they like technology. Um, but like a lot of factions, a lot of people will be interested in secrets relevant to their factions. Um, for instance, you know, like, oh, crocodiles will be interested in the location of layers with legendary, you know, crocodiles, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend uh, getting a secret from them. It's pretty expensive and you can get secrets in other ways there are some people you want to get secrets from you grabbed it that's fine i mean that's a, a really cheap modify modification it was, it was cheap i could have like one in case of emergency grenade you know? i like that idea actually that's a that's a really good idea i like that like you could modify uh -huh. your gravity grenade with airfoil for instance all right yeah. so so we're, one day, would we throw that grenade? We're going to throw that grenade one day, yeah. All right, so let's um, let's ask him about the signal. The signal is a repeat transmission being broadcast from an unknown source. It's been live for over a year. One of our tinkers, Q-Girl, discovered it while ringing, rigging a long wave detector. Unfortunately, it's encrypted. And we do not have the means here to decrypt it. You may be of some help in this matter, however. We've long known the location of a fully functional battle. 
bowels of the great hall, but these Tasusa, the mechanists, have consecrated, consecrated the site around it and built a temple there. You girl claims to have developed a means to decrypt the signal, but she needs the computing power of the Beitel. If you can infiltrate the mechanist compound, you may also be able to engage the Beitel and then decode the signal. What is a Beitel? They are antique stones located in certain places deep within the caverns of God. We believe they are some sort of hyper-advanced machines built by the Eaters. The Eaters? The Often eaters. one claims to possess a sentience of its own. However, most of them have gone haywire. In the eons since their creation it is rare indeed to discover one whose circuitry is wholly uncorroded. The mechanists, mechanists worship this one as an idol and they will protect it at all costs. You will need to find a way through their host to the battle itself. Do you believe you can accomplish? Yeah, yeah, man. Good apprentice, speak to Q Girl in the workshop. She'll encode your instructions for the Betel onto a copy of the disc. There's one more thing. There's one more thing. The Betel is located beneath the ancient Rio Barrios of the Eaters. Time has worked to erode the mechanism that contained their cryogenic mist. That freezing vapor billows out of the chambers freely now, cooling the entire cavern. You will want to procure worm clothing to protect yourself. <sighs> The spoils of the Mechanimus are yours to keep. Remember, apprentice Marathum will look kindly upon your service. I will return with the data, steward. Steward. <laughs> right. All right. Onwards to the least controversial character of all time. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. We can wake her. Shake a shake a shake shake Quetzal 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 welcome to the workshop friend Hmm <laughs> What does Quetzal mean? I need to know. <laughs> It's a word I say out of excitement, sort of a semantic extension of the feeling I get when I see a Quetzal. Oh, a Quetzal is a pretty bird in the Turagan family. I tend to incorporate things I like into my... I die... I the elect. I am, I am not directing you in this. I'm leaving. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Raya's like by the cult of Derelisha by for her queer appearance. Admired by Beatles for development quantum mechanical model. So it's good to be friends. Well, um if we had made friends with that one pariah we met in that ruin, uh, I might suggest we do this, but um losing reputation with pariahs is is not great. Uh so I, I I don't know. I leave it up to you. Admired by Beatles. I've never done much with Beatle reputation, to be honest. I've never met a, re a Beatle that I could even barter with, reputationally speaking. Oh. I'd say that's a wash. The Barathermite rep is the best thing that uh, that would offer. Well, there must be a hundred gadgets here. Oh, oh, Quetzal. A wave trainer for the shortwave detector. A footstrom pulley for the ion lathe. A thrice retro threaded mban. Ah, uh, she continues. In a dissertation on the illegitimacy of power. Quetzal. <laughs> Quetzal. Your hair is the quasar of red ochre and indigo. Quetzal. Thank you, thank you. What a poetic metaphor. You're a regular Shakespeare, aren't you? I do, brave friend. I'll imprint them now. Great. Good All right. talk. Good talk. 
so that's it. Our next quest is Bethesda Sousa. Bethesda? Bethesda? Um, tower well known for making RPGs. Open world ones, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a good bit, right? Um, so the first thing I might recommend, uh, why don't we equip that masterwork scoped carbine? I mean, we can like, honestly talking to everyone in this place would be a good idea. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get lore from all of them. They all are stores, including Q girl has, you know, worthwhile things to buy. Um, a lot of them have data discs. A lot of them will have reputation that we can, uh, consider. We can have a look at what Porge does. Plus three to save versus disease. Whenever you eat an uncommented yuck wheat stem, you release an electrical discharge for electric generation at level six. It's an interesting Spine. one. Can but be is good. it worth learning? I... Mm. I have done it exactly once, and I didn't find it particularly useful. The electrical generation isn't bad. Uh, yeah, I honestly, like, we could just move from the top of the list down. Start with Darty. This is a place, like, we'll, we'll want to... You're already at Darty. Oh, okay, yeah. See what he's got. Charity addresses you without looking up from his many workspaces, many of which fill smoke, steam, or some unknown miasma. Do you know anything about Bethesda Sousa? Laboratory, you work in a kitchen. <laughs> Let's trade. So he actually does have a pretty good mod. Um, he offers the Wooly mod. The woolly mod, um, yeah. Ooh. Okay. You remember what they said about, um, the depth of Bethesda Sousa? Mm hmm mm hmm It's gonna be cold. We're gonna wanna be warm. Um, we could probably buy that with just straight water, honestly. You could sell the slogs and unculus. Well, we we gonna have like a look at what it does. Um, I've never found it particularly helpful, but it is fun to get. Ah, a pustulant girdle that slowly undulates with latent vitality. Half damage from poison. I think um, maybe not darty, but one of the. Barathermites will probably be able to repair your armor for you. Okay. If you're like, uh, like in this menu, you can do space actions. And they may, uh, it'll, repair will be one of them. Cool. You work in a kitchen. You work in a kitchen. You think this is a mere kitchen? <laughs> no, of course not. I can I can read the room, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, Hortensia. Thank God for that point of interest menu. This place can, can be kind of a nightmare if you don't have it. Wake up. What is your way? Let's do it. Are you a liquid tinker? Let's trade. Hmm. Well, we can have a look at that engraved umber frock. Get some free uh, lore. But I don't see anything here worth. 
Those tiny trinkets may... No, I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Well, in early 2178 Burr, Daryl Sheed was challenged by a claimant to a duel over an ordinary mandating the practice of hoarding agates. Agates. He won and had the aspirant trapped in a sapphire. He was uh, 57 <laughs> years old. I'm trapped in a gem. That's really fun. It's a trinket. It's got a weird artifact. A book. Tread guards are kind of neat, but that's only if we want to replace our legs with treads. Not very Batman. Not not very Batman, unless you consider us turning ourselves into the Batmobile. Then it's kind of mm. Batman. No, I'm good, I think. Yeah. Pools of convalescence. Forms a cool, luminous liquid that's a restorative. Alchemist. Oh, yeah, the alchemist. I forgot. I didn't realize that they told you about the alchemist in the Great Gate. Okay. Be careful about them. Bavadat, man. Bavat man. Baba 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 baba. Tell me about Jacobo. Sharp as a jack and living a life of deep meaning. No. <laughs> Sparafugal. Oh, I have such a precious vantage point of my sweet neighbor. When he achieves a moment of affection in his craft, a spiraled barrel, a mound of powder measured to the grain, it beams like the high salt sun. What a lovely smile. Oh. Neat. Mafiel. You let me take a storybook off shelves. It's a book. Mafiel's a book nerd. He's a book nerd. Neek. Neek, since they were a little cub, what a strange one. Bounty, full of smiles, but brilliant in his own way. My favorite book in all. Rolled his neat spider webs and hover sleds. Who would have thought? Not me. Precious gem. There's such a wider view of the world than we do. I was hoping to say, this one's an armor boy. <laughs> oh, I see. You're looking for, like, actual mechanical information. Yeah. No, like I said, they're all pretty useful in their own way. I think Asepa is um is a tinker boy. I think Jacobo is. Most of them are. Just sleeping in front of the door. Yeah, I guess so. And in front of the bed. Let's trade. Let's trade. There you go. Mm. So what do we got? We got, I think that's electrified at the top there. Night Sight. Interpolator. Uh, I'm not sure what those are. Normality gas pump is nice in some ways, but uh, high explosive grenade mark two. I think we already have that. Blood gradient hand vacuum is a pretty interesting gun. Um, chain gun, flashbang grenade. Let's uh, mark one. Mm. Yeah, none of that is very helpful to be honest. You could maybe take electrified if you want to try uh, modding your your weapon with with that. It's a pretty good mod in terms, you know, as far as mods go. I'm gonna sell this. Go for it. Us. See if he'll repair your uh, steel plate mail as well. Yeah, there you go. Five drams, perfect. All right. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm 
Okie dokie. Do you have any advice for entering the Batista Susa? Temple of Rock is cut out from the higher world, and I hear the mechanist Kalanus no longer recognize High Priest Echol Schlard. That said, if you are favored by the mechanists, you are welcome in their holy places, and I have no doubt that Fine Hoshia will grant you peaceful entry. Um, that's actually very useful information. Um, can you hit, uh, when you're out of this menu, uh, Shift F? And we're going to go down, scroll down until we see Mechanimists. Yeah. Uh, so we're at 100 reputation, and it says you aren't welcome in their holy places. So that means that if we try and go to the base of Bethesda Susa currently, they will not be happy with us, and they will, in fact, attack us. Um, the church at the bottom of Bethesda Susa is heavily armed. It's not a place you want to make enemies with. So we want to be on good terms with Mechanimus. That's that's the takeaway there. So who's next? Oh, yeah, Jacobo, probably, I think, J J Jacobo. Oh, no, that's the Sepa, okay. Sepa, I think, has some uh, some gear as well. Wake up, every bear. Wake up, every bear. Ah, is our new short-fingered friend. That is spell, if you like setting. Big yawn. Or spells. Or a Sepa, if you like a Sepa. This is a very good place to be. Tell me. So he's got the scoped mod, uh, actually kind of nice. Currently, our, our, our current sniper has scope, so we, you know, redundant right now, but when eventually we want to upgrade from the uh, the carbide, then it would be worth having. It increases the accuracy by quite a bit. All right. Don't want to sell anything. Um, yeah, I mean, we could sell the force modulator for some extra bucks. I mean, so I'm pretty sure that the one of the few uses that the force modulator offers is that you could have entered grip gate early. Um, but I don't actually think outside of that it's very useful. So that salt hopper mandible. It's a good weapon, but it is a long blade. Oh yeah, we'll want to use those cybernetic credit wedge. Could sell the compound bow. I doubt that it's better than the masterwork scoped carbine. It does, I mean, it is a bonus based on your strength, and you do have quite a bit of strength. So, I mean, we can we can really decipher it. We'll want to dis, uh, disassemble all that other crap. You're pretty much good to go. Jesus, Usa is an anti-bottom place, a gallery of life and death, and the stages between. Its depth prolong life and ended early, remove life from the flow of days or return it. We'll see, seek to make you late. Take care, you come back on time. It will seek to make you late is a great way of putting that. I love that. Okay, I think we're pretty much out of bears to talk to. Uh, actually, fun fact, I, I often mistake them for bears. They're more like um, hedgehogs or uh, mm. what you might call it. Uh, porcupines. Most of them have oh. the, uh, the spine mutation that uh, you had briefly with like burrowing claws. All right, um, so let's do a little bit of uh, inventory management. We're going to want to disassemble all of your scrap. We're going to want to learn all of your data disks. 
um, consider applying them to your weapon if you can. Um, if we um, apply Electrified to our current weapon, it will mean that we have to power it, uh, but it doesn't like make it worse. Meaning like if it's not powered, it's it's still going to function as it's, you know, as a normal weapon. Um, but yeah, Electrified is one of the best mods because um, as you found out earlier, it goes straight through AV. So it's um, it's pretty nice. I'm trying to think what else we can consider. I would probably recommend we be like level 20, if not level 22, before we go to Bethesda Sousa. The place is tough. Um, it still challenges me, <laughs> like, uh, just about every time I, I take it on. But so does Golgotha. They're all kind of spicy. Hmm. Um, so yeah, let's learn. Oh yeah, we have uh, some weird artifacts too. We probably want to examine those at some point. Electrified. Good stuff. Wooly will be good um, for uh, adding to our armor. We can probably apply it to our helmet for, you know, very little cost. There's a lot of boxes to check for Bethesda Sousa. A lot of boxes. Like, you know, you got to be on good terms with mechanists. You got to be, um, you got to be, I mean, very well equipped have uh protection from cold there's a lot of enemies in bethesda susa that just are a nightmare Ooh, bionic liver what does that one do again immune to poison and disease that would have been interesting actually would have helped us uh if we didn't have a fix for for um the, the slog effects then that would have been a, a good fix uh, I don't. I wouldn't say it's particularly helpful. It could be in the future. We could keep it around on the off chance we get sick. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, and check out that mossy tube. Hulk honey injector. Is that your first Hulk honey injector? No, we have another one. Interesting. Uh. Hmm, okay. So let's check out our tinker menu. All right, so. Um, gren EMP grenades are quite good. Uh, I guess we that's just modifying an EMP grenade, not actually making one. Uh, oh, your pickaxe got rusted. Steel plate. Oh, we can reinforce your steel plate. Like, we don't have the bits to do it, but that's something worth considering. We don't have the bits to make it woolly either, unfortunately. wonder if we could make your uh, helmet reinforced. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can make your polyhedral ring sturdy. We should. Uh, you should totally do that. Wait, wait, not. No, sorry, not sturdy. Um, I was thinking reinforced. Sorry, sturdy is is whatever. Um, reinforced is what we would want. Shoot. Ah uh, well. So there's our carbide folding hammer. It would cost us a pristine electronics and a flawless crystal. So we don't have the bits for that. Um, you could make your electro bow scoped if you wanted to continue using it and it is pen 10 so I think it is actually better um, but the thing is is that um, worth noting that the scoped carbide that you have now it shoots three times like in a turn so you know 
consider if that might be worth it to you if you want to trade up. Hmm. Hmm. If you wanted to mod your electro bow with scoped, it would be pretty pretty on par with with uh, the scoped carbide. There you go. That is a scoped summa summa clam. All right. So I think that's actually going to do it. I mean, we did a lot of inventory management and checking out Greek Gate. It's, uh, there's a lot to look at here. Do you have any, uh, have any thoughts? Hmm. Not really. <laughs> Not really. All right. Um, let's stick out the old notes here. No, Golgotha was still a chump, even though that was forever ago. And I'm pretty sure this next place we're going will also be a chump. I'm wow. calling it now. Wow. The pure hubris. The Batman, the Batman's just going to bust in, solve the crime, bust out. He does do that, doesn't he? Yeah. All right. Well, if you are enjoying uh, this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Do it. We'll see you next time. Bye.